guys, it's now 5.30 in the morning and I'm at Starbucks at opening because I love y'all so much and I'm really, really trying to get this video up. I've been trying to get this video up for a very, very long time. So now that I'm here, I'm gonna try and see if I can upload it. If I can't, I'm shit out of luck, plain and simple. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, today's actually show day. So this is how much I love y'all. So I uploaded the video successfully. I'm so happy. Put me in a great mood. Honestly, that was stressing me out. Only because I promised y'all that I would do six days in a, six videos in a row. And of course, with the stress of show and all that stuff, I wasn't able to deliver on that. I'm sorry about that. But the good news is I have my first cheat meal of the day. I hop. I'm ready. It's about to go down. I'll show you what I get. All right, so breakfast is served. I have three buttermilk pancakes. It smells so delicious. Egg whites and a serving of hash browns. I'm so excited. You know, even make, you know what even makes this a lot better? So my favorite kind of syrup is blueberry, and they have it here, and I'm able to eat that today. So I'm about to pour a serving of blueberry on that, and that's gonna be my breakfast. It's gonna be so good. Oh yeah, I also got coffee to help wash all of this down, if you know what I mean, and then also help me get my name, my help me get my head in the game. Alright guys, so I just checked in. I have some like I guess I don't know if this would I mean it's bittersweet news for sure. <laughs> it's not hundred percent good and it's not hundred percent bad. So I checked in. The show's pretty small keep in mind. Um, turns out I was the only person in my class, so by default I win first place. Um, feel kind of upset about it because the only reason I'm upset about it is because I came here ready to compete, ready to, to go up against other people and just have more of a competition. And obviously that didn't happen today. So the good thing, I guess the better, the good side of that is that I get to go and compete in overall. So automatically by default, overall, hey, how's it going? <laughs> automatically overall going overall that by default and uh, competing with the best of the best from the other other classes so pretty much prejudging is just gonna be me walking on stage doing an individual routine um, getting handed that trophy <laughs> and then walking off the stage and then coming back for finals tonight and competing in overall so I'm really gonna watch my diet all day gonna make sure I'm staying in top-notch condition um, come back and just compete really really hard for the overall but uh, yeah that's that sucks but you know what i can't really control that um that was just how the show came out i mean it's a pretty small show if i had to guess honestly i would say there was like 150 to 200 people in the show so you can't always get what you want it happened to a couple of other people too so it's gotta it's gotta go with it so right now we're gonna go to the car i'm gonna get a meal um chill Pros going, IFBB pros go on first, so that's gonna be pretty cool to watch. And then prejudging for me starts, and I'm sure you guys will see that clip next. Oh yeah, and I'm number 82. So look out for me. It won't be hard to find me, because I'm the only one. <laughs> and hi. Look who showed up. Thank you, Andy. From Barbados. We're back here, up. We got Classy going up right now, and then in a little bit, it'll probably go by fast because the show isn't that big. It's going by fast really now, right now. So I think Classic's about to go on right now. And then Women's Physique, and then Classic Physique, and then uh, Open Novice Physique. So starting my food off now. I'm gonna do about two to three rice cakes with peanut butter and honey. Give me that slight pump. And yeah, I'll see y'all then.
Finished prejudging. Honestly, I'm always, I'm always gonna be my hardest critique, my toughest critique. I thought I rushed it a little bit. Tyler's telling me I didn't, but I mean, honestly, it went better than my at the branch warrant. I rushed my, my prejudging was awful. I rushed it. I didn't tighten up my core. I was just kind of nervous. Big stage, way bigger than this. But um, I mean, if everyone else is saying that I did good or did well, then I guess I did. Prejudging is over, and since I'm the only one in my class, there's, gonna, there's not gonna be any comparisons. So right now, it's pretty much me chilling until finals. But uh, overall, I feel pretty good about that. I mean, I did the best I could. I can't take it back. I can't rewind time. The only thing I can do is come back for finals and give it my all again. So right now, I think we're going to chill, maybe go back to the hotel, chill for a little bit, and then come back for whenever finals is. I think finals is at 5 o'clock. So we have quite a good amount of time until finals comes. But I feel good. I feel really good. I just came here on prepper. <laughs> You can ask me, you can ask me first. I'm gonna take my food like that again. All right, so for the in-between pre-judging of final meal, I have a chicken sandwich, super dry, baked potato, super dry, no oils, no seasoning. Honestly, it's better than prep food. It's better than what I've been eating. You know, yesterday, tell them what I ate yesterday. That's my carb choice. I ate an entire box of honey nut Cheerios. When I saw that. And, and lightly salted rice cakes. <laughs> and, and cold, cold 99-1 ground turkey with, that was soaked in water. That's, oh my god. So that's how I this cooked, beats that. That's how he wanted it. But this beats that by a lot. So this is gonna be my meal before finals tonight. Finals is at six. So I'm gonna eat this meal and then probably go through the same routine that I used for uh, pre-judging because I think I look really great. So yeah, just gonna eat this meal, rest a little bit, and then head back to the show. All right, so it took a 15 minute, how long was I sleeping for? Took a 15 minute snooze, feeling slightly rejuvenated with the whole squad. About to head back to the convention center. Athletes check-in is at five, but the show actually probably won't start till like six, 6.30, probably seven. But I don't know why they have these stupid rules. But I'm just gonna abide by the rules. So nothing's counted against me towards the end. And uh, yeah, I'm really hoping that I go on stage first because that way I can get everything over with. And well, then again, never mind. I have to stay for finals. Damn, you just yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, it's not gonna be, t it might not be till the very end. Because sometimes that it dep depending on the show, they'll like do the class and then they'll do the overall. And then they'll uh, go to the oh, next yeah, class. Yeah. So maybe maybe they'll knock out my division or my class and then they'll do overall at the same time. We'll just see. How you doing? Doing great. Thank you. Thank you.
number 23, Richard Ware. Physique D, Zach Savoir. Physique D, Reginald Walker. Physique E, Charlotte Coker. Physique F, Willie Smith. And this is going to be a doozy. Boy, don't they look good? Okay, guys, let me bring you to the slide. Stay in that order, coming straight across. Stay in that order, all the way across for me. And we're going to turn it back over now to our NPC judge, Mr. Vincent Crawford. Who do you think they like? All right, that was pretty, pretty nice switch. All right, gentlemen, face the back wall. Face front. Number 82 and number 28 switch. Get in there! Get in there, Charlie! Yep. Face the back wall. Face You better tell these judges who you are. All right, who do you like? Charlie! Well, I wouldn't want to judge that one. We can only have one winner, though. Optimum Classic. Overall winner goes to So I walked away with first place in my division. Unfortunately, it didn't take overall, but it was a good competition. It was a pretty tough fight. The judges didn't like what they saw, so I guess just got to roll with it. Honestly, at the end of the day, I'm happy. I know I beat my last physique. I know I beat the physique that I started with last year. And honestly, there's nothing I can do about it. As I preached in my recent videos and in all my Snapchat stories and all my social media posts, Regardless of the outcome, I know I wasn't at work. I brought my best physique to date, and I'm only going to get better from here, guys. Thank you guys for so much for the support, your love, your care, all of that. All of that inspired me. I know I inspired y'all, but all of that inspired me as well, and it kept me going. It pushed me through all this. The times where I felt like quitting, the times where I felt like giving up and just not doing it anymore, you guys pushed me. And honestly, like I said, regardless of the outcome, guys, I was not at work. Thank you guys so much. I love all you all is good? It's alright. Not as good as the uh, hop daddy, that's what you're trying to say? I like that you should do something fabulous. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Try it, try it. Alright. <laughs> we just suck for, we just suck for a long time. We just suck for a long time. Suck harder. Sweet taste of victory. It's alright. <laughs> it's not it's not that good. Alright, so post show appetizer, Nutella, milkshake. We're at Grub Burger. Grubbin. I ordered a bacon what did I order? A Lockhart burger? Lockhart. It has Dr. Pa Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce, which is really weird. I've never tried that before. But this is my post post show treat. Um Honestly, it feels really good to wait, to know that tomorrow morning when I wake up, I don't have to worry about tracking macros. I don't have to worry about how I'm gonna get my carbs in. I don't know. I don't have to worry about high carb day, low carb day, what my fats are. I guess to eat whatever I want. So tomorrow we get to we're checking out. We're heading back to Houston. So I'm definitely gonna sleep in. Uh, if, you, if you can't tell, my eyes are super puffy. I think Tyler and I have like averaged like this whole trip. We probably slept like six hours. So. We're definitely both exhausted. Tonight I'm gonna sleep like no other. I'm gonna take a shower, wash off as much as it's 10 as I can, and just like pass out and not worry about, not set any alarms, just chill. Um, 
think I'm gonna end the video here too, because it's been a very, very long day. Uh, like I said, um, I'm happy with the results. I'm happy with what happened. I'm happy. I'm happy with where I ended up in this series. I'm happy with everything that I've achieved in this series. I'm happy with the people that I've touched, the people that I've inspired, the people that have reached out to me, the people that have. I've met the people that I've grown relationships with, the new people I've met, even the people I met at the show today. Um, all of that's been an experience that I, I, I will never take for granted. This is all part of the growing process. I'm learning something new every single year, and I know next year or the next time I decide to do something like this, it's going to be even greater. Um, shout out to my family, my girlfriend, my beautiful girlfriend today, who I love really much, my boy Kennedy, Tyler behind the film, my cousin Alex. <laughs> sister for driving out here. I love them. I love all of them. Um, I wouldn't be here without all of these people. And uh, yeah, that's going to conclude this series. I love all of you guys. Thank you guys for, for tuning in on this series. Um, go watch all the episodes. I think we're at episode, by the time this video is over, I think we'll be at episode 20 perfectly. Just a perfect 20 episode, 20, 20 episode series. That's good. That's really good. So go watch the rest of the 19 episodes. Um, but this isn't going to stop the YouTube grind. I'm going to keep it going. Trust me, I got something coming. I love all y'all. See y'all later.